Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I am so excited about today's video because it has been a long time in coming. I know some of you have been waiting for me to put up this video. I've talked to you in the comments over the last week and I just keep saying, the video is coming on Friday. The video is coming on Friday. So here it is. I am happy to bring it to you today. So today we are talking LED red and infrared light masks and which one is the best. So um, if you guys have seen my previous video on my experience using the eco face mask, I absolutely love it. I had a really great experience using it. I wasn't really expecting much from it. I was sent it in PR like I don't know, a year or two ago almost, and it sat around for a year, and then, you know, when COVID hit, I pulled it out and was like, well, let me give this thing a whirl, and then I did a before and after video after three months, and oh my god, I was amazed at the differences in my skin, and now I am a complete LED convert for anti-aging your skin. So that's where this whole thing started, but then after that video, a lot of people asked me about this mask, which is very popular. It is the Dr. Dennis Gross Spectre light face wear mask and people wanted to know which one was better which one should they purchase so that sent me as you know where are we going people into a deep dive of research to figure out what actually makes these masks work um, which one could possibly be the best, which one you might or might not want to spend your money on, which of course led me to other masks and other devices. So this is going to be a whopper of a video. It's going to go down into the weeds and we are going to fly our science girl geek flags and we are going to fly it proudly today. So let's get into it. So LED really didn't become a thing until about 10 to 20 years ago and that's because LED light bulbs were really not reliable as far as being able to pinpoint the exact wavelength of light that you wanted to emit. But somewhere along the way NASA developed some really accurate LED light bulbs and they started being studied for wound healing. Then they started being studied for anti-aging. And since 2005-2007 there have been a a decent number of studies done on using LED lights, particularly in the red and near infrared range for anti-aging and it seems to work. So for a while there you could really only get an LED red light treatment by going to a doctor's office where they had the Omnilux machines. Now the Omnilux machines are the medical grade machines that are really the gold standard in LED light therapy. There's two different machines that they use for anti-aging. One is the Omnilux Plus that gives off the near infrared and then there's the Omnilux Revive that gives off the red light. So you would like alternate treatments. You would be treated with one and then the other. The Omnilux devices are also the devices that were used for most of the scientific studies on red light and near infrared light into anti-aging. And that's kind of what we're going to be comparing everything to, although granted it is really an unfair comparison because as you know, you know, trying to get an at-home device to be the same strength as an in-office treatment, it's just not going to happen. These things have to be made safe so that you can use them at home. They're not going to hurt you. Um, you know, the other one is used under a doctor's care and so it can give you like more intense treatment. But what happened in between then and now is that there were so many advances in those little LED light bulbs that they could make them so accurate and make them so small that you could put them in something like an at-home mask. All right, so you guys, I have learned more than I have ever wanted to know about <laughs> red light and near-infrared light and anti-aging light devices. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of anti-aging light, okay? So let me throw up this little graphic for you. This shows skin, basically, and it shows you all the different uh, wavelengths of light, starting with UV on the left, which is the invisible light, UVA, UVB, UVC, that we're familiar with, that does all the damage to our skin, and that penetrates the skin the shallowest. Then moving over to the right, you see that there is visible light in the color spectrum. There's blue, yellow, and red and those penetrate the skin to different depths as well, with red being the one that penetrates the deepest. But within each color, there's a range within the spectrum. So red light isn't just one 
wavelength of red light. It can include light from 620 to 750 nanometers. Then on the far right you see the light that penetrates deepest. That's near infrared light and it comes in a range from 800 to 2500 nanometers. So in order to figure out which mask or which at-home device is the best, I thought we should start with what is the gold standard and see what the output on that was as far as the color of light that it uses, the specific wavelength. Then you also have to think about intensity of light. So intensity of light is measured in milliwatts per centimeter squared. And you can do a simple mathematical conversion to figure out how many joules that is based on the distance the light is from skin and the amount of time that the light is shining on the skin. All right, so I thought the best way to tackle this would be to make you guys a chart, a table, and we'll put the Omnilux devices at the top since they are the gold standard. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the information that we're looking for on the at-home devices, and we'll see if any of these come closer to the gold standard device. So across the top, we have whether or not it is FDA cleared, the wavelength of the red light, the wavelength of the near infrared light, then the intensity of the red and near infrared light, the joules for the red and near infrared light, the session time, the distance from the skin, the number of bulbs in the array, and the price of the unit. And so in the Omnilux device, the first thing that I know you guys want to know about any device is, is it FDA cleared? And the Omnilux is definitely FDA cleared. Then the second column is the color of the red light. So there we have the 633 and the near infrared light that the Omnilux Plus device used is at 830 nanometers. The intensity with the Omnilux devices, since it's two different devices, the red device, the intensity is 105 milliwatts per centimeter squared. And on the near infrared device, it's 55 milliwatts. Then the joules, same, the left number, is for the red light, the right number is for the near infrared, 126 and 66 respectively. The session time is 20 minutes. The distance from the skin using those light arrays is usually one to 10 centimeters, which translates in inches to a half inch to four inches. Then another consideration is the amount of bulbs in the array because closer packed bulbs will give you more uniform light coverage. There are about 1800 bulbs in the red light you Unit, and there are about 416 bulbs in the near infrared unit. And the price, if you were to buy both, I believe is around $25,000. It could be for both or a piece, but anyway, significant outlay of money that the average person is not going to have. All right, so those Omnilux devices are really souped up. They're really expensive. They're really intense. And how are we going to get even close to that in an at-home device? My understanding from what I've read of the at-home devices and the reason that they can work and probably do work because I've seen it work in my own skin is because the lights are close to your skin so they don't have to transmit the light as far so that the bulbs don't have to be as intense. So if we think of it like the light from a flashlight and we're shining it on the wall, the farther the flashlight is from the wall, the less intense the light will be. But of course, the closer that you bring the flashlight to the wall, the more intense the light is. Having the mask sit closer to the skin is one way to increase the intensity. Another way is that you would just use it more often. So in most of the studies using the Omnilux professional panels, the treatments were done twice a week for 20 minutes for one month. With these masks, it's recommended that you do some of them every single day. Some of them recommend every other day, some recommend three times a week, and the timings are all different. Three minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but the results are supposed to be seen over a longer period of time. So it might take three months to see the same type of results that you might see in a month of office visits. So I'm gonna talk about five masks here today and one device. I'm gonna fill in all the information on the chart first so that we can decide which ones to keep and which ones to jettison. So I'm gonna start with the first one that I ever used. This is the Eco Face Mask, putting up our chart. Um, is this FDA cleared? It's not US FDA cleared, but it is K FDA cleared, which is the Korean FDA. This uses red light in the 630 nanometer range and near infrared in the 830 range. 
I don't know the intensity or the jewels on this one. There was a huge Amazon discussion about it, but the sellers said that it's a trade secret, and so they weren't at liberty to disclose that information. The session time with this, the recommended time, is 20 minutes. I'm putting it at about a half inch as the distance from the face, and this contains 60 light bulbs, and each light bulb gives off both red and infrared light, and this costs $233. Next up is the second mask that I bought. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Spectralite mask. So filling in the information on the chart for this one, this is FDA cleared. So the colors of red light that this contains are 630 nanometers. It also contains 660, which is deep red, and 605, which is amber. This one also has blue light for acne at 415. The near infrared is at 880. The intensity is 61.59 milliwatts per centimeter squared. That calculates into 11 joules per three minute session. And I'm guessing that this mask sits about an eighth of an inch from the skin. According to the website, this has 100 light bulbs. By my count, there are 80 in here, but some of the light bulbs can give off more than one color. When it's on in red light mode, it is using 25 red lights, 25 amber lights, and 30 near infrared lights, which equals 80 bulbs, but some of those bulbs could also be shooting out that 660 deep red light. I don't know. This one is so confusing. Anyway, it retails for $4. 35. It was really hard to find the information on this one. I emailed the Dr. Dennis Gross company to get the specs on this mask. They didn't email me back. Then I looked for their FDA filing because since this is FDA cleared, then there would be an FDA filing. So I looked for that. Now, unfortunately, they didn't file for an original application on this device. Basically, to get FDA clearance, what a lot of devices will do is they will piggyback off of something that's already been cleared, and they'll try to show that it is the equivalent of the other device. Since this was piggybacked off a different device, I can't say for sure if the information that I'm showing you on the intensity and the jewels is 100% accurate. It's interesting because in the advertising for this one, they only mention the red, the blue, and the near-infrared. But in the booklet that comes with it, it says that it has actually two other colors of red light. And that also agreed with the predictive device from the FDA filing. It had the four different colors of red light as well. So I'm going with that, but it may or may not be 100% accurate. Next up is this mask from Current Body. This one was easy to get the information on because I emailed Current Body and asked them and they told me. <laughs> so this one is FDA cleared. The the red light is 633 nanometers. The near infrared light is 830 nanometers. The intensity is 30 milliwatts per centimeter squared for 18 joules over a 10 minute treatment session. Parts of the mask are zero centimeters away from my skin, but parts of it are a little farther, probably about three centimeters, which is about an inch and a half. This one has 49 light bulbs in it, and each light bulb gives off both red and near infrared. This retails for $3.99. It's currently on sale for $3.55, but they also offered me a special discount just for my viewers of an additional $15 off on top of the sale price. So that's a total of 15% off. Now the next device I don't have here. I so wish I did, but I just discovered it like last night while I was looking on the Omnilux website to um, get the specs for the top of the chart. And guess what? They just came out with an at-home device like a month ago. So <laughs> I'm dying to get my hands on this one. I did email the Omnilux people and I asked them what the specifications were on their device. And so I was able to fill out our chart. So for the Omnilux Contour, it is FDA approved. The red light is 633 nanometers. The near infrared is 830 nanometers. The intensity is 30. The joules are 18 for a 10 minute session. This one sits a little bit closer to the skin than the current body because it has two straps. And so I'm putting that one at zero to a half a centimeter. So zero to an eighth of an inch. It has 66 LEDs and each LED is able to 
emit both the red and the near infrared light. This one retails for $4.95, but the price on the website right now is $3.95, and they also have a really great offer where it's $50 off if you buy one device, $125 off if you buy two devices, or $200 off if you buy three devices because not only do they have the face mask, they also have a neck and chest mask, and they also have a hand mitt as well. In addition to that, they offered me, for you guys, a 10% off code. It's Angie10. That can't be combined with other offers, but that offer looks pretty darn good if you were going to buy one of these. I would use you know, the $50 off over the Angie 10, but if that ever disappears, you know, like say you're not ready to buy one now, you want to buy one in two months, you go back, that's not there, you can always use the Angie 10. So I'll put that in the information box below the video along with a link to the Omnilux Contour website so you can check it out. All right, next up is the New Face Wrinkle Reducing Attachment. I'm going to throw this one in. It's not a mask, but I know people will ask me about this because they know that I have it. They know how much I love the New Face. They know that I've used this in the past. It is FDA cleared. It uses 632 nanometer red light, 820 nanometer near infrared light. The intensity is 65 milliwatts per centimeter squared for 7.8 joules in a three minute session. It sits zero centimeters from the skin. It has 32 red bulbs and only four near infrared bulbs and it retails for 149 for just the wrinkle reducer attachment, but of course you have to have the new face. Um, you can buy a bundle that puts these together for about $4.29. Then, just because I know that a lot of these things are pretty pricey, and I know you guys are always looking for something cheaper, I did buy a $50 mask that I thought looked really, really cool. The last one I want to show you is this Dr. Kong mask. I found this on Amazon. Uh, whether or not it's FDA cleared, I don't think so, because otherwise it would have said so. The red light on this one is 640 nanometers. It has yellow light in the 600 to 610 nanometer range, and it has blue light in the 445 to 450 range. It doesn't have near infrared. The intensity is unknown. The joules are unknown. It's a 10 minute timer. It sits probably two to six centimeters away from the face, which is about one to three inches. It doesn't have any bulbs. Instead, it has these little lines, and it retails for $47.99. So it's only 50 bucks. So I feel like putting this all together in this chart helps me to clarify things. So what we could see is that we're not going to get close to the jewels or the intensity that you get from the pro thing, but assuming that it's the closeness to your face that makes it more effective and the density of the light bulbs that makes it more effective, I would say that something that gets really close to the skin and has more light bulbs and it has the wavelengths closer to what was used in the professional one is probably going to be your best bet for getting results at home. Now aside from the technical specs, the other things to consider are the comfort level and how easy are they to use and how much of your face are they going to cover and how are you going to treat the other parts of your body that you're going to want to treat once you see the results on your face. So those are all things that we have to consider. So I'm going to run down each mask that I showed you. So for the eco face, I am disappointed that I wasn't able to get the information on the intensity and the jewels, but this is the one that I did a video on before that I do have the before and after pictures from, and I can tell you that this one actually worked. Um, it's also probably the better price point out of the ones that are left here that I like at $233. My main problem with it is that it sits a little bit farther from the skin because it does come with like these little bumpers that you put on the inside. But on the pro side is that it's fairly comfortable to wear. It doesn't mark up my face and it's nice and big. So when I have it on, it really covers my entire face, my whole forehead, whole chin, whole sides of my face. So this one's really easy to operate. It's got this little controller. You can select 20, 15, 10 or five minutes and then you just press this and then the lights come on. So this one has the one strap around the back. It's Velcro and it is adjustable. This one is very comfortable if you do use the bumpers, but without the bumpers, not so comfortable. This 
little um, eye hole here has a ridge that sticks in and so if you use it without the bumpers that presses against your face and it's uncomfortable because it puts all the weight on the bridge of your nose. This one's very lightweight at only a half a pound. So I think this one would be a reasonable one to pick, especially if you don't have a ton of money to spend, like 230 you know, is a lot anyway. If you buy it, I think that you will see results with it. So that I think is a good choice, but I think there are other slightly better choices from some of the things that are left. I'm gonna eliminate the Dr. Kong mask next. This one was just a waste of 50 bucks. It doesn't give you any energy. It sits so far from your face. You can't even see the colored lights on your skin. So here's this one. You can only put it on if it is plugged in. I just wanted to show it to you quickly. It's got lines instead of light bulbs. And there is, am I changing the color? Oh, there's the blue light. There's the yellow light. There is the red light, I think, if you can even see it. I mean, the light on this is so dim. In my view, it has zero intensity, zero joules, so that was a waste of 50 bucks. Please don't buy this kind of thing. I know there's some celebrities who are promoting these as, like, the best thing of LED light therapy, but uh, I don't think so. All right, now the new face... I'm a little on the fence about, obviously I own it, but I gotta say, I never use it. I had done a video using this. I was only able to use it on my neck. And here's the reason. The light flashes and the flashing of the light makes me so nauseous. So I literally couldn't use it from here up on my face. I think it needs to be charged. So I did use it on my neck. You're supposed to hold it in one position for three minutes and then move it to the next position. So if you're doing your entire neck, that's like a half an hour. Then if you're doing your face, they divide your face up into seven different sections and you hold it on each section for three minutes. So there's another 21 minutes. So if you wanna do your face and your neck with this, you're looking at upwards of 51 minutes to an hour and you have to be standing there or sitting there holding this against your skin in each place for the entire three minutes. The flashing made me want to throw up, could not use it. So if you think that you could stand the flashing and if you think that you could stand sitting there with it like this for three minutes, I did see results with this when I used it on my neck. I can link that video right up here for you if you want to take a look at it. But for me, you know, if I'm advising you on something to buy that you're actually going to use, I don't see anyone actually using it. Kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, if you have it and you want to use it, that could be fine. All right, let's talk about the Dr. Dennis Gross Mask next. Um, this is one that I really, really like, mainly because of the masks I have, it's the most comfortable. It just fits my face so perfectly. Like, I love how contoured this mask is. Um, and when I put it on, it is so comfortable because it's contoured like to my face so there aren't any pressure points it doesn't put pressure on my nose it doesn't leave marks on my face anywhere and i love that about it one drawback to the design is this thing which as you can see is doing its thing which is that it doesn't stay attached it just doesn't that is going to be a problem if you're someone who wants to use your red light device and also sit up and do things or walk around your house and do things i don't I do my red light device the lazy girl's way. I lay in my bed, I put it on my face, and I take a nap. With my other devices, they're 10 to 20 minutes, so it's easier to take a nap. This is only three, and I generally return it on every three minutes. So here are the red lights in it. As I said before, I counted up the light bulbs. Um, I feel like this has the fewest light bulbs, but it is one of the ones that is the closest to the skin. And as far as the jewels are concerned, in a three minute treatment, if it's giving you 11 joules, if you just keep turning this on and run it three times, in a nine minute treatment, you'll be getting 33 joules. So this one is the one that actually gets you up closer to the joules or the energy that the Omnilux did. So I can't dismiss this one. It is the highest priced one that I'm showing you today. It is the coolest looking one and it's also the most comfortable one. So I can't leave it out, especially if you're someone who has acne. It does have the blue light, so you can use it for acne as well. And you can also use it in both modes where it has all the lights on and it's more like purple. And if you also have rosacea or you have just redness in your skin and and you want that amber light that some of these other ones don't have, this one has the amber light in it as well. So this one has 
a lot more going for it. If you have more skin concerns, I would consider this one. One of the things that I am not in love with it is that it's cut a little high here, so it doesn't really include my entire jawline. Like that's where your jowls are gonna start forming. You definitely want that treated. So this being the smallest mask, you know, you need a small face for this to fit. I have a little tiny little head, tiny little face, so this fits me just fine. But if you have a flatter face than me, if you have a larger face than me, this might not cover your entire face. So I think this one is great if you're looking for a mask that includes blue light, that includes amber light. You know, if you have more concerns, if you want something with more than just the red and the near infrared, then I think this is a really good way to go. All right, so let's talk about the current body mask next. This one I purchased when I I learned that you really want the light bulbs to sit closer to your skin and this one was going to be the number one mask that I was recommending to you guys until the Omnilux one came on the scene and just squeezed it out by a hair but it's really like not even that much so if you own this one I wouldn't feel bad about owning it this one the operation is so super simple it's literally one button on and one button off it's got a 10 minute cycle. So you have the one strap across the back of the head. You slip this on over your head and you do the treatment. This one is also very comfortable, but I gotta say when I was finished with it, this little nose flap thing, the way it's split, it leaves a red mark on my nose, which isn't a big deal. It does go away pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't hurt or anything. It's very, very comfortable and I do like it, but I do notice that when I have this on, because it does have the one strap, it doesn't sit very close to my skin down here. I mean, there's an easy solution to that. I can literally just press it and hold it closer during the 10 minutes. Another thing that I really like about this one is that it's flexible, it's soft, so I don't have to buy a separate neck thing. I can just lay this on my neck assuming I you know take the strap off I can just lay this on my neck I can only really get the front I can't get it to wrap around to the back and then it also treats part of my chest or I can just lay the whole thing on my chest like this you can just lay it on your hands like this so this kind of mask that's flexible is definitely going to be the more versatile mask that you can get more uses out of but this company does make a neck and chest mask and when I emailed her for all the other information, she offered to send it to me. So this came in in PR the other day. So this is their neck and deck perfecter. And this one has fewer bulbs in it, but um, it's the same easy one button on, one button off controller. It comes with two different straps. So it has a neck strap so you can wrap it around your neck like that. It also has another strap here that you can just lay it on your chest so that you can get more coverage this way. There aren't light bulbs out here, so really you're only getting, you know, like that much has light bulbs in it. But that's pretty cool if you wanna do 10 minutes, your face, your neck, and your chest all at the same time. You combine this with the current body, and then you'll be anti-aging from here to here in the same 10 minute session. And then the last mask is the Omnilux Contour, which is the one that I don't have here. I so wish that I had discovered it sooner so I could have had it here to show you, but it's so similar to the current body. It looks to me like, you know, it looks exactly like the same kind of flexible, soft, feel to it. It looks like it will be the same comfort. It has the same kind of little cutout for the nose there. The main difference is that it has two straps on the mask instead of just the one. So you can really adjust the fit so you don't have to hold it close to your face. It will just be closer to your face for your treatment and I think that is going to make a big difference. The other thing is it has 66 bulbs instead of 49. So that bumps it up a little bit more in my estimation over the current body. I do love the current body mask, but you know, if I had to say which mask is the best based on the chart and the stats that I know about them, I'd have to go with the Omnilux. I mean, it's made by the company that makes the medical grade equipment for this purpose. And of course, Omnilux does make the neck and chest piece and also the hand piece. So those are also going to be just a little bit better, I think, than the other masks that I've shown you here. Hopefully, I'm going to get my hands on the Omnilux mask and I will have it to show you live and in person and test for you in an upcoming video because I think it is really awesome technology and I love what it has done for my face. I mean, literally, you guys are so nice to me. You give me compliments on my skin all the time, but it wasn't until I started using the Eco Face that the compliments suddenly started ratcheting up again. And as we know, 
every moment that ticks by, I'm getting older. <laughs> and so anything that can help me look a little bit younger, I really love. I am all over this LED technology for anti-aging and I love the masks. And so I was really happy to be able to get all these masks, try them for you. The thing with the gadgets that I always say is don't spend your money on it if you don't really think you're going to use it. You will only see the results with it if you actually use the thing. You know, you can't let it sit in a drawer gathering dust. So if you think that you would use something like this that you can move around the house and it's comfortable, um, then this is the one that you should get. But you have to decide which mask is going to be right for you. I like to give you all the information so that you can make an informed decision. Obviously, you know what your budget is, you know what your skincare concerns are, what you're hoping to treat. And so I hope that I've given you, even though it may seem like too much information, I hope I've given you enough information to make that informed decision so that you get the mask that is going to be right for your skin and that you're going to use. All right, so that is it for today's video, everybody. If you found it helpful and informative, if all of this information helped you to make a decision and wasn't just me flying my geek flag for no purpose here, then definitely give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're shopping for a mask today, use the links in the information box below the video. So as always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.